Hello guys, Terra Arts Movie here with another exciting After Effects tutorial and today we are going to be learning how to replace um, a sky on your video. Um, let's say uh, for example here I get a video here already inside After Effects and uh, as you can see here the sky is pretty boring, it's just a blown out sky, a plain white so it's really it looks really boring and we gotta replace it with this sky image. So to do that just import the sky image to your After Effects by click and drag it to your After Effects and then just click and drag it below the video. And as you can see here, the sky image is a little bit smaller than the video, so all you gotta do, um, just press S on your keyboard, brings up scale and scale it up and make sure it's bigger than your video if your video is moving like me as you see here, my uh, video is kinda moving and uh, we're gonna make the sky image a, a little bit bigger because we're gonna track it later all right so now uh, after this everything is gonna be very very easy all you're gonna do is click on the video and go to effect um uh keying and then extract boom and then make sure it's luminance because we're gonna uh, get rid of the white area here the blown out area and then the white point we're gonna set it down until it removes only the sky so as you can see here we're practically done we already get rid of the sky and we replace it with the image below but we got a little problem we got harsh edges going on here and uh, we also got a sky that a uh, little bit weird so basically this video I shot it with flat profile using my Canon 5D Mark II so it's kind of bright and this image right here is kind of a little bit too much contrast going on and uh, a little bit darker from the video so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, color correct it so it will match the video so go to the sky image or your sky sky image <laughs> just click it and go to effect color correction and hue and saturation for me and the master lightness I'm gonna punch it up until it match uh, the, the lighting and everything in my video so as you can see here it's already looking really good so um this is before after before after but we still have some hard harsh edges as you see here so to fix that um i'm using after effects cc here by the way so um maybe you don't have this effect uh if you're using the pre previous version of, of after effects but um i also gonna be telling you another effect that you can use in previous version of after effects so don't you worry all right so um make sure you click on the video effect and go to matte and go find refine soft matte and basically it's gonna do the job by itself so the edges already looks really really good but this is some kind of uh, very very heavy effects as you can see here um, there's still some white garbage here going on so what we can do we can go down here the contamination and we can find extent where smooth it just check that and problem solved um, but it's a very heavy um, effect and I don't really like it so and also maybe you don't have this on the previous version of After Effects so also maybe the extract here if you're using After Effects before C4 or whatever uh, you don't have this effect also so I'm just gonna be teaching you another effect um, uh, to do this result alright so just turn it off everything and we're gonna start from the beginning here so we're gonna go to effects and presets on the right side over here on the search tab make sure you're gonna f you type in luma key there you go luma key click and drag it to your video and then make sure the key out darker here you're gonna change it to key out brighter and then the threshold you're gonna punch it up until it reveals everything except the sky there you go it's easy and you can find this effect in every version of After Effects. Luma key. So there you go. So we finish. We still have some harsh edges right here. And to fix that, you're gonna go to effects and presets again. And the search tab, you're gonna now type in matte choker. There you go, matte choker. Click and drag it to your video also. And you're gonna play with the settings here. Geometric settings, maybe punch it. A little bit for me seven chalk one well, basically just just play with the settings geometric softness to make it just a little bit soft there you go but actually as you can see here 
um, the the edges is still kind of a little bit brighter than the sky but sometimes you can use it to ma manipulate the sky image so it's gonna blend more naturally so basically this is the white is coming from the sky right our real sky so we can punch the brightness from the sky image here just up a little bit until it blends just like so so basically it will also have some um, logical uh, sky here as you can see here so the sky is not too dark it's perfectly blend with the scene all right so basically we are finished but we have some problem if you are recording in a moving camera of course you're gonna track your camera if you don't know how to track the camera I'm just gonna be telling you right now anyway so to track your camera go to layer new we're gonna create null object so what is no object Null object is actually um, you can not uh, export your tracking data to no object to represent the um, tracking data <laughs> so the null object so after that you're gonna click your video and go to tracker if you don't have tracker you can go to the window and tracker all right so tracker make sure you click your video make sure the timeline is on the beginning of the video and click track motion and then we're gonna move the track point to the furthest area of the video as you can see here for me is the light right here the lamp a little lamp right here so after that um, all we're gonna do is make sure the edit target is the null because we're gonna send the we're gonna export the training data to the null object and click OK and then just click analyze forward and it's finished and then click apply and X and Y and OK there you go and we can just close this and we can go to no object and we can just turn it off so we don't have because we don't have to see the, this box red box right there and make sure the timeline is back to the beginning and the sky image here as you can see here there's a thing called parent and click on this little circle thingy around the thingy here <laughs> click and hold it and go to the null so basically what it does um, the sky image is gonna be following uh, the tracking data from the null object. So now if we scrub through the video as you can see here the sky is like it's already there It's like it's part of the video There you go, but sometimes you have if you have a lot of movement you're gonna have some motion blur in your video So maybe we're gonna give the sky image also a motion blur So all you're gonna do is turn on this motion blur right here as you can see here enable enables motion blur click that and then on the sky here just enable the motion blur right here the motion blur box clicked it and there you go and you, the sky already have some motion blur if you don't see all of this maybe you're in this position just go down here and toggle switch modes boom there you go all right guys so that's basically it there's two ways of um, replacing your sky first of all is extract and a Revine Soft Matte and second one is Luma Key and Matte Choker but I'm gonna prefer you Extract with Matte Choker so Extract with Matte Choker is gonna be because in Extract there's just a lot of um, thing here white softness you can make it soft well whatever you like if you if you don't have Extract maybe you use Luma Key it is just gonna give you a better result with Extract for me by the way if, if you are if you are um, good with Lumaki, then just use Lumaki. Alright guys, so my name is Terra from Terra Arts Movie. I hope you find this tutorial useful. And uh, subscribe to my channel. And see you in the next cool videos and tutorial. Ciao.